But Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he journeyed, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven flashed about him. And he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no one. Saul arose from the ground, and when his eyes were opened, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And for three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Jesse, O root of Jesse, which standest for an ensign of the people, at whom kings shall shut their mouths, to whom the Gentiles shall seek. Come, and deliver us, and tarry not. This painting shows us Saul, the Pharisee, breathing threats against the disciples of Jesus on his way to Damascus. Until, that is, a light from heaven flashed about him, and he fell to the ground, hearing his name called and his exploits questioned. It is the moment Saul met the risen Christ, the moment he began to become Paul. The painting shows him in the severe intensity of that encounter, blinded or being blinded by the dazzling brilliance of the Jesus in his resurrected glory. It is as though we are given to see his sight being drawn out from him, his eyes being shut, the moment of entrance into his own three-day darkness. The root of Jesse does not describe a genealogy only, but an ensign for the people, for the nations, it describes a sign that is effective, and its effect is deliverance. To look upon the rod of Jesse is to look upon he who is himself deliverance. He delivers us from the worst of ourselves by drawing us to himself. Before his power, the kings and princes of this world are silenced, and those that see only the ways of man are blinded, like Saul, whose eyes were shut by that brilliant light issuing from the fruit of Jesse's lineage. But in the darkness, he was delivered from his own brutal breath to become the messenger of God sent to the Gentiles, to proclaim to them that the power of God's election of Israel his faithfulness to the promise made to Abraham and his seed is the power of salvation for the whole world. That to Israel belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the worship, and the promises, the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, the Son, whom God the Father delivered up for us all so that Jew and Gentile would be set free from sin and made slaves of righteousness. What is the glory coming into the world? It is the glory of Christ, our deliverance. <laughs> 